Well, I mean, clearly, if he got caught saying the N-word five times, that's not the only right. five times that exactly. he said it. He probably uses it in his regular vocabulary. Uh, and as I'm learning more about the situation, he sexually harassed men and women? Well, I heard, what, man. What does that mean exactly? I don't know. I wasn't there, but I heard he, you know, dropped his pants and in front of people and said inappropriate things to people. So, again... I wasn't there. I can only kind of speak on, on on what I know and what I was told. And you know, I've been twelve years removed from that organization. Amazing organization. Great city. Great fan base. Loved everyone else that worked there. I just knew he was a fun. He was funny style. So I just never really fucked with him. Well, you know, like you mentioned before, originally it was supposed to be a, a ten million dollar fine and uh, suspension for one year. Right. And people were kind of comparing that originally to the Celtics. Right. Then that was my that was kind of really my argument. I'm just like, you're putting these two things on the same platter. And to me, Robert Sarver, so it shows one thing that the NBA underdid it. And I thought initially that the Celtics had overdid it. But again, you know, as you learn the facts and as things continue to come out, because all people can do is speculate until you kind of know what's really going on. Um, but then, you know, once you hear the Boston shit come out, I'm just like, oh, OK, well. And then, like I said, the Sarver stuff continues to come out. And, you know, I've heard it from reliable sources and, and, and close personal friends about just the way he moves. And I had a situation with him, too. I want to say like in 2011 or 12, after I left there, um, I was in a game and I was talking to this little 13 year old kid and his dad courtside. And, you know, me, I'm someone who always talks, but it was like a fun back and forth, kind of like trash talking, but nothing bad about it. And someone was shooting a free throw. And someone, and I heard someone behind me say, don't talk to my fucking fans. I'm like, who's he talking to? I turn around and it's Sarver. Huh. And I'm like, motherfucker, I'll slap the shit out of you in front of your wife. And like- Wait, wait, went, you said that? To Sarver. Oh, well, you're, you're no longer on the team I wasn't though. on the team uh-huh. no more. I was, <laughs> I was already gone. I was about to say, yo, this, yeah. sounds, this sounds wild. No, okay. so he was trying, I don't know if he was trying to be funny or not, but when I looked at him, it was like a deer in the headlights. And I said, I'll slap the shit out of you in front of your wife. And his wife was sitting right next to him. And he told on me, and I got fined like 25, 25 or 35,000 for Sheesh. that. So, but like I said, it was a funny, like back and forth, literally with this little 13, 12, 13 year old little boy and his dad, we were all laughing. And I hear someone say, don't talk to my fucking fans. I'm like, yo, who is this? And it's his little punk ass in his little corner seat. So just don't deal with the dude. I'm glad everything is working out the way it is.